Hi, this video will demonstrate the new features in Mouse Tractor 4.0. One of the things you'll notice after you launch Mouse Tractor on the main screen, it looks a little bit different than the previous version. There's now just one box right here for number of clicks. Uh, and then there's an option whether you want it to click one time per second, one time per minute, one time per hour, or one time per day. If you want to change that to 10, just put a 10 in there. One of the other major changes with Mouse Tractor, uh, based on feedback, sometimes people couldn't tell when it was running. So if you click Start and you actually start Mouse Tractor, you'll see an icon starts and follows your cursor wherever it goes, that icon goes. When you stop, that goes away. Uh, one of the other changes, if you do change this, let's say to 9, start it and stop it, and this is your preferred click speed. If you close Mouse Tractor, Mouse Tractor now will remember the variable, so it'll come back and run at 9 clicks per second. The other change that we made was it allow you to go faster than 10 times per second. So if I change this to 15, you'll see that we get this screen that comes up. This isn't an error, it's a warning, hence the name warning. And basically all it says is uh, most computers and network connections can't support this many mouse clicks. Please lower your clicks per second or proceed at your own risk. The reality is we don't know what your computer or the games that you play can support. So if you go over 10, just do it at your own risk. Hit OK. Once you hit OK, if you hit Start, it will click at 10 times per second. And again, that icon pops up. Uh, we got some feedback on the icon during testing that people said that it was too close to the cursor. So we added an option under Mouse Cursor. You can actually change the distance of how far it is away from the cursor. So we'll make it as far as we can go at 60. And you'll see where now it's a couple inches away versus right on top of it. You can change the cursor image size so you can make it very small. You'll see that the picture changed. Put it back to medium. It's a medium height. You can also change the cursor. You can keep it closer or further away. We just gave some options on how people wanted to change it. Uh, you can still change the hotkeys. So if you use a Windows button in Z, A, or Q for right-handed people, or Windows period or Windows semicolon for left-handed people, um, still works just like the other one did. So if I hit Windows and Z, the program starts. If I hit it again, it goes away. However, now if this is minimized and it runs, you can actually tell when it's running versus when it's not. You can still have Mouse Tractor appear always on top of whatever game you're playing, or if you leave that unchecked, it'll go underneath it. Um, if you have any questions on Mouse Tractor or any ideas on how we can make it better, uh, please feel free to, to leave us a message on the Mouse Tractor fan page on Facebook, or you can send an email to customerservice at mousetractor.com. Thank you.